now the average Joe with his Golf Mark IV with uh, <laughs> PS4S wow. tires, gonna put it at 1.8, cold lap. <laughs> now on the GT3 RS, um, you can go fairly low on pressure. Yeah. Of course, on the GT3, I run, run a little higher. Than yeah, 991 was actually also higher. Yeah. Usually on the, on the GT3, uh, I was around. 195 in the front, and okay. just depending on the balance, a little higher in the rear. Uh -huh. And with that one, hot pressure is around 19 front and yeah. 20 rear. Okay. okay. More of an oversteering yeah. car, you go to a bigger pedal. Learn something every day. Just when we thought that we were finished with all the GT3 RS content with Porsche experience, we got offered a taxi lap with Jörg Bergmeister himself, who drove the significant, impressive 6.49 on the Nürburgring Nordschleife lap time. So you know what? I mean, would be rude to say no. So let's hop in with him once he's done with his current taxi lap and uh, see if we can learn a thing or two. But probably you will be going too fast to memorize. I'm more interested to doing a lap on the Nordschleife, to be honest. But hey, every day is a school day and a very exciting one. Oh, camera here, that is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't need speedometer, you're, you're driving a feeling anyway. No, I just need the refs. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll be fine. So how was it for you so far? It was very good. You like it? Yeah, yeah, everything was amazing. I really like the format. It's, yeah? It's very well paced. Good. I was mostly impressed by the pace in the morning. Okay. Because usually all the kind of other events that I would be doing, like the warm-up pace, it's like, yeah, we're actually close, smooth. <laughs> okay. It's like... Yes, attack. Yeah, attack. Like, all right, if that's a warm-up, then <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Good. It's the way it's supposed to be, right? True. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he sees everything. <laughs> So on PS, uh, on the dampers, I'm minus one on compression, plus yeah. one in the rear, plus two, plus three. Yeah. And on PTV, um, plus one on coast, zero on. All right.
The first lap it definitely took some getting used to the low grip. <laughs> <laughs> low grip tires. Yeah. <laughs> so I went a little closer on uh, on diff on entry and also a bit more on, on power. Yeah. And that really helped. The brakes are good, my phone got launched out, so that's okay. <laughs> no nice. Yeah, so especially like Blanchy Moore or Rouge. Yeah. It's a proper car. Yeah, it's mind blowing. Yeah. Not gonna try to redo what you're doing. <laughs> Good thing is he has runoffs. <laughs> it's easier than on the Nordschleife. <laughs> That's true. A lot less consequences here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I tell you, on the Nordschleife, it's a different. Uh, 209 different. is. Uh, and Woodcorver was really like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I used all of the runoff already there. Did you had some fun? Yeah, it was amazing. Good. Thank you so My much. Pleasure. It was awesome. Thank you. Liked Thank it. you. Yeah, absolutely. It's good. Woo! <laughs> That was quite impressive. Hmm. The most impressive part is, of course, well, Jörg developed the car, co-developed with everyone else at Porsche, so he knows it by every single bit, all the ins and outs and everything. So the way he was driving it, when you're thinking on the limit, it was properly on the limit, probably. Well, I'm sure they're like a, like a real re responsible test and development driver and the brand ambassador. Uh, he was having a bit of uh, safety margin, but in comparison to what we are do we're doing and we were thinking that was already fast. And the instructor was saying like, oh, we have still plenty of room to play with. You can see the potential of the car and it's really mind blowing, especially the downforce sections where he actually like we said in the review video that uh, he, you just tap the brake to activate the maximum downforce and at the speed that we are doing is like over 400, kilo, uh, 400 kilograms of downforce over 200 kilometers per hour and then you end up basically not braking and just gently lifting for the turn in where we are actually braking a lot more it's uh, the car is like really it's crazy it's really really crazy so uh, hopefully we can go on a notch life the next time hmm Hmm.